is Kevin Jones and this is the Beginning Hunter video series here on YouTube. My goal with this program is to educate and inform you on everything that you will need to know about becoming a new hunter. Hey, um, I wanted to share um, something that um, I have yet to cover. Um, this just came out about a week and a half ago. Um, so this is how to use the 3D features in Onyx. This is probably one of or maybe even the biggest developments that I've seen um, since Onyx came came to be, and it is really going to change the way that I do scouting uh, using their system. So first thing you want to do, log in on X. Uh, once you're, I, I just picked a random um, unit uh, somewhere in Wyoming, and uh, they had a lot of this. So what I've usually run into is how do I know exactly what the terrain is with the overlay? I'm going to cut to the chase here. I know why you're here. Down here on the right, there's this thing that says SAT and then 2D. You're going to want to click that. And then when you click this, it pulls up your base maps, right? So you could choose satellite, which is what I have. Um, you could choose hybrid, or you could choose your topo map. So let's go back to satellite. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do satellite. I like that. It's a little bit cleaner. So right now it's on 2D. I'm going to blow your mind here. All you got to do is click 3D map, and it shifts you into a 3D. And then it's kind of cool. So when... If say say you're just scouting this area, unit, whatever this is, pick a unit, unit 65, um, you can zoom in now and it overlays the 3D map along with this is like this is blowing my mind. My computer's a little bit laggy right now, but you know, you get the idea. So like right here, look at this. You now can see exactly where like the rim of this of this canyon wall is. And exactly where the uh, the BLM and where all the public and private land is. Um, if you want to, you can use the left click on your mouse, and it'll allow you to drag around. So you could do a different view. So you wanted to look down this canyon, and then um, you just drag it with your right click of your mouse, and drag all the way down uh, Crooked Creek here. It's really really cool. And then again, left click, and you can tilt up and down. I'm starting to get seasick just by looking at this. I just wanted to show you guys the features um, of what you could do with this. Again, so I found myself when I was screwing around with this thing a little bit confused as to how to get back to like normal view. But all you got to do is click the 2D right here, 2D map. Hit 2D map, and it brings you right back to the traditional view you can still see all of your waypoints even when you're in 3D mode, right? So for this, we're going to toggle back to 2D map. Just hit the 2D button, and then you get back into the um, kind of aerial view that we are all used to seeing. So what you're going to want to do is over here in your tools, you will click waypoint. And let's just put the waypoint right there. That's good enough. And then let's just say this is... Uh, how about a buck mule deer? All right, we're going to hit save. Awesome possum. And then again, this is our aerial map. So then it saves our waypoint, and we can toggle back into the 3D feature with our waypoint staying there. So again, sat, and then you hit 3D map, shlunk, and then we can zoom in, and we can see exactly where that mule deer buck was um, with the 3D overlay on top. Pretty cool. So that's a feature. You can still see all your waypoints. You can still set, um, you know, still see your, your track marks, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, if this video was helpful to you, consider hitting the like button. If this video was extra helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.